How's it going, folks? I'm Matthew Ravenscroft. I'm here with BioLife today, and we're gonna be making a vegan cheese chalet, something I've never seen done before. It's gonna take a lot of ingenuity, a very small amount of architectural knowledge, which I have zero of, and a lot of imagination, which I actually have a ton of. So we're gonna include a description of all the ingredients you need down below. Yep, just scroll down a little bit. So without further ado, let's get right to it. So the first thing we want to do here is we're going to have to build the walls. I'm going to try to go two cracker by two cracker. And what we want to do is we basically want to use our feta style product like a mortar for this thing. This is already a great start. Houses need to have at least four walls. So we're going to take care of that first. And this is going to lay the foundations for the roof, which is the real challenging part of this build. So now we've got the base built. Any gaps that you're finding, you just wanna pipe a little bit of extra of this creamy right in there. So we're gonna add a little bit of the snow pile on the corners, let that all build up. This is kind of a special part that I've really found. This cracker is slightly larger than this cracker that I'm using. And it's gonna allow me to support this. It really involves taking a measuring tape to the grocery store, measuring out all your crackers as you go. But this is the secret in my opinion. So I've got two special load bearing crackers in here. This is laying the groundwork for the roof, which is the most challenging part of this thing. Now comes the real test. This is what's really gonna be a make or break for our vegan cheese chalet. So I'm gonna grab our apple thyme grilled cheese and we're gonna mount it on top. We're gonna take one more piece of grilled cheese for this. Now comes the actual roof. We're gonna follow with the shingles, all the fancy stuff. So you're gonna need a little bit more of the mortar. Be generous with it because we need this roof to stay on to sustain the weight of the shingles that we're putting on. Adding each shingle and you can see it gets a little bit more flush as I add a little bit more crackers and everything kind of starts to come together a little bit more. I like to tuck the shingles in. That way you're kind of using the friction of the crackers to kind of hold this whole thing together. I think that's a really important tip for this. Okay, we have completed the roof here now. The shingles are up. Now we can kind of try to make things a little bit more festive, a little bit more fun. For my garland, I'm using rosemary. Got my little shears. We're gonna lay this on top. Now we can start taking care of our Christmas lights. I've got some pomegranate seeds here. And we're gonna use this as the front lights for the entire thing. And what we can add here is a little wreath of time that we're gonna set up. And all I'm doing is just folding this and tying it together just a couple times. So we've got this absolutely adorable tiny wreath and we're gonna mount this right onto the roof. Our grilled cheese roof, actually. If you're having trouble making your wreath stand, just wrap the actual stem of it around a couple times. It's gonna make that whole thing hang on. Beautiful. Okay, now we can move on to the carrot lights. I'm gonna kind of line this thing with a little bit of snow. What I have here is some diced heirloom carrots. Just like different colors, there's reds, there's yellows, there's greens. So we're gonna kind of set it up, put it all around. So we've got the lights all hung up now. I'm gonna add a little bit of extra snow onto the roof so that when we add our fresh falling snow, it really sticks on there. 
Now we're gonna work on the front of this vegan cheese chalet. That means the doors, the windows. We can start looking at landscaping, stuff like that. So these tiny little kumquats, these are gonna be the windows. I went with this because I feel like it makes it like, you know, the lights are on, everyone's cozy inside. Feels very inviting, feels very festive. Now we can come to making the door. And what I've selected for this is provolone style slices. We can cut this in half now and we're gonna kind of fit this thing to the door. A nice finishing touch is a little bit of hardware. It's up to you, but I'm gonna use a little pomegranate seed. Now we're gonna move on to the landscaping. I've got something special. It's just for this, it's just for you. It's a Violife Feta style snowman. Absolutely adorable. I pre-made it before. This is gonna kind of be our crown jewel on this thing. I went ahead and I kind of made a rosemary tree. This is a little mushroom on the bottom. Do it any way you want. I think the rosemary looks great. I use the mushroom just so the tree itself stands up and it kind of looks like snow. So I've got one full wedge of Parmesan style here. It's kind of like a fresh snowfall look. All right, folks, that's it. Our vegan cheese chalet is complete. Landscaping, snowman, Christmas lights, all of that. I think Santa's gonna be very impressed. And don't forget to show us what you've got here. I wanna see your creations. Tag us, shout us, all of that. That's it, folks. Thanks for coming. I'm going inside now. See ya.